Hello, dear ones, it's Alice. I had some insights this morning I'm hoping to share with you. Um, it has to do with the predator-prey uh, dynamic in the third and fourth dimensions. Uh, something that I used to call the victim-aggressor paradigm in earlier writings. And a lot of people call it predator-prey or predatory instincts on Earth. Um, as you all know, in the early days on Earth, before hu humanity, um, there was a, quite a bit of, I mean, and still today, like in Africa and everywhere, there's a dynamic where a animals eat other animals to survive, predator-prey-wise. And um, so there's, there is that energy on Earth uh, that is in our, um, the memory of, of memory banks of planet Earth uh, from the past and during current times that has to do with uh, sustaining ourselves through the um, through the uh, through the death of other uh, life forms here on earth and so this is uh, this paradigm is uh, particularly um, significant to the third and fourth dimensions which are not found everywhere in the universe um, so it's a very dense vibration it's very um, it's striking in the polarities involved the, the bringing of life to one life form and the ending of life of another life form in order for that to take place in a cause and effect kind of way okay um, now the image that I have from the ancient past has to do with a beautiful herd of gazelles in the in the African plains and a lion that's stalking them and the lion um, grabs one one gazelle and brings it down and ends its life and 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 that's the image that I have of predator prey a kind of um, the epitome of predator prey the beautiful lion and the beautiful gazelle and um, I just wanted to say that in the current context, the context of regeneration and and new creation on Earth, uh, there is this dynamic that uh, that is clearing because of the the great gap of polarities. Okay, now we say to ourselves, um, we gazelles, <laughs> currently gazelles, we say to ourselves, okay, this dynamic in, involved for me. First of all, the placing of blame on the predator. And secondly, it involves um, the notion of my own personal clearing. All right. So, so, so the very first thing that the mental mind does is it goes, how can I clear unless the predator stops preying on me? And this comes up quite a lot. We think, I've got to do something about those predators out there. And the predators are like, not lions exactly, but the lions of the human world, what they call the controllers. And this is the energy that, um, the energy that, that is based on the notion that taking things from other people uh, increases our own abundance and makes us happier. Um, that's basically the energy, I think. Taking uh, either money or um, it might be um, raping a woman. That's like taking pleasure in injuring a woman sexually. Um, let's see, control, the idea of controlling the world and then the, the question is, what about everybody else? How are they going to feel about that? But that's not a question that, that you know, that is involved in this, this mental filter about predator. Okay, so, so what's in it for the predator to change? And the answer is, no, there's not much reason for the predator to change, but every reason in the world for the prey to change, because it is they who are obviously suffering and the predator is suffering in in disguise sotto voce as it were the predator is suffering without knowing the suffering and the prey is suffering 
right out loud, right in your face. And so the prey will change, right? So those of us that have great compassion and great uh, love in our hearts, then, and who feel that that feeling of being preyed upon by, by those who are not yet in their heart chakra, we go and we, we learn how to, how to clear our, our soul field. And, and those who, who feel that they're um, like conquering the world and so forth, they, they're not so motivated, all right? So now, down to the dynam the true dynamics of a third and fourth dimension. And, and this is that. Um, the, the note of polarity that is struck by the predator-prey relationship. It may sound like um, agency. It may sound like one person is causing it and another person is, is at the effect of, of it. But in fact, this note is like one harmonic in the symphony of new creation. Um, if, if we have a hungry lion, and there is no herd of gazelles, then the lion may prowl around looking for a herd, but there is no, as if there are no gazelles in sight, there is no predatory relationship. There's just a thought of it. Okay, so there are no gazelles at the effect of a lion who isn't around gazelles. Then, if uh, there are, so, so the minute that the gazelles stop being in a, in a relationship of, of, of predation with, with, with the lion, they will be free of that dynamic. That dynamic will be gone for them and from birth. So that is why when we, um, uh -oh, that is why when we uh, quote unquote gazelles uh, change our like vibe, to and eliminate that cord which is predator prey then for us there will be no more such cord on earth now what will happen to the to the lions well a really hungry lion might turn if there are no gazelles around might turn to other lions such as younger lions or weaker lions and kill them and eat them and there on earth as as the motivation is still not there for the predator-like mentality of the lower triangle to change, then, um, then there may be such such like um, predations of pre predator upon predator for a while, and as that happens, the preyed upon predator will um, will have motivation to clear. That's clear. So. Um, so then the prey to pun predator will fall into the category of prey, right? And eventually there will be um, there will be one or two predators left, all right? And my feeling is that at that point, the energy of predator prey will be gone from Earth. And so, per se, there will be no such thing as a predator anymore. <laughs> now more on the notion of of the note that's struck by by this relationship of predator and prey, um, it's like it's like a, a chord, a dense, deep, dark, low-sounding chord, kind of like a kind of like um, a grumble or a growl. That's what it sounds like, and so. Um, this growl that we hear, that is that is issued by a predator and heard by a prey, is in fact one sound, one sound, one sound of of speaking and receiving. Not, it's not two separate things, you know. It's it's one vibration that has existed in the world for a long time and is, is now leaving. So, just to reiterate, if the prey changes and no longer hears, if the predator ceases to growl, either way, there will be no more 
growl of the predatory notion on Earth. So it doesn't take changing anybody else for this to happen. All it takes is that we should clear our own souls. And for sure, Earth will be renewed.